Hello, this is Harry Payton. I'm the host of the Irvington Now Show. Uh, you might be able to tell, you certainly should be able to tell that we're out of the studio, but we're right here in front of Irvington Town Hall, and we're going to have an interview with the director of the Irvington Department of Public Works, and that's Mr. Jamel Holly. How you doing? How you doing, Harry? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Thank, Thank you. you for being a guest today. Uh, I know that your department covers so much as we were uh, getting ready to go on camera. I was saying a lot of citizens uh, probably don't know all of what the Department of Public Works does. So hopefully we can give them some information and, you know, let them know that, uh, in my opinion, you're one of the hardest working departments uh, in the township. And, and we'll explain why. Okay. So uh, can you first, I always ask my guests to give our audience some background on yourself. Yeah, sure. Well, Harry, first off, before I begin, I just want to just thank you for covering the township on a local level. It's so important that, you know, residents get a firsthand experience on what's going on in town and who's working for the town uh, so they are, are very much aware of where their tax dollars are, are being spent on. And you've done an amazing job with capturing uh, a lot of what is going on on here in the, in the new Irvington, and I just wanted to commend you uh, for uh, spending some time with myself and other directors and uh, throughout the township, we met with business owners and uh, residents, and so I'm just grateful today that you've given me the opportunity to highlight some of the things that uh, we're doing here in the, the Department of Public Works under Mayor Boston's administration. Um, my name is Jamel Holly to the residents of Irvington, and I am the Director of Public Works. Uh, here in the city of uh, Township of Irvington. And it's been a credible experience for uh, us here uh, and over the last going on two years, uh, Harry. But uh, my background, um, I was a local councilman for a number of years. Uh, and uh, I moved on to become a mayor of, of the Borough of Roselle for some time. And uh, currently, uh, I moved on to the state uh, where I'm a state representative, where I represent Elizabeth Roselle Hillside and Union. Uh, but my full-time position is uh, here in the Department of Public Works, which has been an incredible experience. The Irvington residents and business owners are just great people. This is a, a, a wonderful community. And when we walked in on July 2014, you know, it was uh, very challenging because we had to hit the ground running. Uh, when you have a mayor like Mayor Voss, who is so proactive and so involved, uh, it's really hard sometimes to keep up with him. Yeah. Uh, but we've been keeping up with him uh, and, and ensuring to go along with his model with keeping Irvington safe and most importantly Irvington clean. And it's my role and my responsibility to make sure that my team, which I have an incredible team of individuals, administrators, workers, laborers, uh, professionals uh, in my department to ensure that we continue to try to keep Irvington as clean as possible. And uh, we're at this every single day. Uh, whether it's from the projects that we uh, we do in town, from road resurfacing to shade tree cutting uh, to cleaning up the streets. Uh, we're at this every single day. Our, our department doesn't close. <laughs> Even when we think they're asleep, we, we're, we're constantly getting emails and calls. And uh, the residents here have been incredibly great with communicating by email and, and, and just phoning up to our offices to, you know, register their complaints or concerns and you know we've been incredibly grateful too that there's folks that call and say thanks for a job well done and they can see some of the positive efforts that we've been doing here since 2014 and so that's, that's always enlightening when you have folks who uh, witness some of the great growth that we've been able to do here in the township of, uh, of Irvington. Yes, thank you. Thank You're you welcome. Much. I'll, I'll take this here. And uh, it is great, uh, and again, I know, and that's why we are here to, you know, speak of some of those improvements. I, I happen to be so involved, I know of, you know, a few. I'm probably going to miss some. You're probably going to still tell me <laughs> something that I don't even know. But uh, the truth be told, it took me a whole year to get you as a guest because you are always so busy. So, you know, I'm honored that you found the time because, as you said, your department is a 24-hour department, and by that, those who don't know, uh, and you cover uh, various areas of the town where if something happens after the regular nine to five, you guys are out there. Yes. And we'll talk about some of the things that the guys do after hours when some of us are home conveniently sleeping, saying, oh, I got a snow day. I don't have nothing to do today. I'm, right. You know, I, my job is closed, but your guys are out there doing work in all kinds of weather. So we're going to speak of that. Now, what does the Department of Public Works do? Yeah. 
So Harry, it's a myriad of things. We uh, have many different divisions in the Department of Public Works. Uh, we have streets and sewers, uh, which we handle all the sewers uh, and the maintenance of the streets, whether it's painting of lines, curbing, uh, ensuring that the street signs are properly located. We're, we're catching up a lot on the missing signs that were out there over the past years. And so we're, that's the streets and sewers division. Uh, they handle a lot of uh, working with American Water or PSC&G there's gas leaks or there's uh, water uh, main breaks. Uh, like you said, after 24 hours, you can get a water main break in one or two o'clock in the morning. And our guys are dispatched out right away and try to jump on top of that. We also have motorized equipment to make sure that all our vehicle fleet is up to par, whether it's our police department, fire department, uh, the regular uh, employees, uh, our DPW equipment. Uh, so that's the motorized equipment department. And then we have shade tree, and we handle a lot of the trees and branches and uh, debris that is left out there. We need to do some pruning to beautify uh, the neighborhoods. Uh, we have a shade tree division. We also have, have parks, parks and recreation, where we handle all our parks, the grooming and maintenance of, uh, of all our parks. And then we have public property, uh, which takes care of all our public buildings. Uh, so we have a, a merit of divisions, and we have the administrative office here uh, that handles the day-to-day -day communications with the, uh, the residents. So we've got a number of different divisions and a great group of men and women who I've never seen so dedicated to the mission and the cause under Mayor Voss and this administration and council uh, of, of just cleaning Irvington and ensure that we just make this the most beautiful town ever. It's been a challenge, uh, but uh, when you have a good dedicated team and you have a good dedicated administration and a supportive administration. It's always important. We get sometimes lost in, in what we do at times, but when you have a supportive mayor and council who not only has requests, but they're willing to uh, give you the tools and tech, techniques and equipment to do your job. And over the years, that's been a challenge here uh, from what I get from a lot of the men and women that is in the department that they didn't have the equipment and, and, and the tools that they needed to really perform their job. And one of the things that I wanted to do as a director was to ensure that the guys on the ground, the women on the ground, the folks doing the work, that they had every piece of equipment that they needed to ensure that uh, they can do the job to the best uh, of their ability. Right. Beautiful, beautiful. And again, that is uh, a lot, you know, and again, uh, it covers a lot. Again, I, I, I'm amazed and I really just started finding out the Department of Public Works. You know, I, I've heard the, t the term for many years, but even sitting here, I didn't know that you guys did the motorized vehicles. There was a time when I worked in town hall and I used to have to take the vehicle that I drove over to the garage over on 16th Avenue. So you guys are actually over those, those the, the, oh, okay, didn't know that, didn't know that. And and that, that was essential because my vehicle was my lifeline. I'm generally out in the field. So when I worked in the township, I would take it over there. They would service the vehicle. We would go over there and gas up and all the kind of stuff. So again, I found that out that you guys are over that department. Now, you had spoke about some of the challenges that you encountered when you first became director of Dep the Department of Public Works. Can you share with uh, audience some of those challenges? Yeah, I mean, sure, absolutely. Uh, there was a lack of equipment. Uh, there was equipment that the township did have that uh, needed to be fixed, and due to uh, budgetary reasons, certain things would just sit uh, prior, prior to us uh, coming in 2014. And so what we were able to do is, is one, come up with a, a list of items that the teams needed in their division. Now, of course, everybody's got a wish mm -hmm. list, yes. but Monday, money's only tight. But uh, we were able to uh, really strategize and sit down and be creative mm -hmm. and bonding out for certain things or working within our budget uh, to uh, afford some of these pieces of equipment or uh, uh, lease certain equipment instead of outright buying it you can lease to own mm -hmm. so that was a creative way of just getting the equipment in because sometimes you don't have the money to just buy equipment outright mm -hmm. so we had to come up with creative ways of leasing to own uh, which kept the cost down a little bit mm -hmm. uh, better so it was a, it was really a, a, a lack of equipment it was a lack of manpower you got to have workers yeah. on the grounds and I think that you've witnessed that during the, our first major snowstorm mm -hmm. under this administration mm -hmm. where we have really good teams out there, yeah. and, 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 and it was because of the manpower. You need men and women out there uh, working each and every day. So those were some of the challenges, and once I realized that that was some of the challenges, of course the mayor is a hands-on mayor, it came to him with the issues, and uh, we addressed them, and 
we're not where we want to be because it takes steps to get where you want to be but we are certainly headed in the right direction with all the right things that are behind us like the support of the mayor and the support of the council and so uh We've been moving right, and right. taking it one day at a time and trying to tackle every challenge. We didn't create this in, you know, two years since we've been here, uh, almost two years since we've been here. This has been a problem for a while, but we're not looking back. Mm -hmm. And we're just looking about, we're thinking about moving forward and working towards uh, product pro right. productivity. Right. Beautiful, beautiful. Again, uh, and I know that uh, and, uh, one of the things, again, I, 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 I've shared with my audience before, uh, I've been in the inspection field for some 20 years and I got my start here as an inspector for Irvington and I know one of the challenges for many communities uh, are the abandoned buildings or buildings that are dilapidated and it presented its own challenge to the administration because those buildings became not only eyesores but festers where people would uh, kind of come to at night and stay and everything. And I applaud the town under the leadership of the Honorable Mayor Tony Voss and yourself as the Director of Public Works because you guys took on a new strategy. Uh, and you bought your own equipment to knock the buildings down as opposed to, like you had said, getting other companies to come in where you had to pay them and their manpower per hour. Can you just discuss that? Because that was one of the innovative yeah, sure. things that you guys did. Yeah, sure. So the uh, the, the abandoned, uh, the demolition project with the abandoned houses is a uh, partnership between the uh, administration, Department of Housing, and uh, Department of Public Works. And uh, what we do is, is that we uh, identify certain unsafe structures in the town. Uh, those that are abandoned as well and those that are eyesores and what we do is we have a process where we identify those properties fire department as well goes out to figure out the unsafe structure along with the department of engineering and we identify these properties and we just start to demolish them because they're eyesores and they're really not healthy for the for the community and it is a process and i know that uh, the residents want a lot of them knocked down but there's so many steps that you have to take legally uh, to get on a property to see who owns it, what banks are there, who's abandoned them. You know, it's a, it takes a lot, but we've been able to identify uh, many of them. Uh, I think we've already approached uh, over 15 properties that we've uh, already demolished. And there's, there's more, mm -hmm. and we want to continue to do more. But I said, like I said before, there's a, there's a process, and uh, we're going through those. Uh, each one, uh, it takes a, a PSC and G American Water to get involved, so they can shut off gas and water, so that there's no leaks or anywhere yeah. in the neighborhoods to yeah. keep the environment healthy. Yeah. Uh, so we've been able to do that, and we've been pretty successful doing that. And uh, that was a, another aggressive. Um, uh, agenda item that the mayor wanted to take on very aggressively because it was it was a lot of complaints that we were receiving from the residents and they wanted it done and we're moving forward so, towards that. Hi, this is Harry Payton, the host of the Irvington Now Show. As part of my interview with Director Holly, uh, I'm here at the Court Street Garage. This is an active place. A lot of things are going on, and we're just going to try to show you. You will hear noises like traffic. You will see vehicles and workers uh, going around. But we wanted to show you some of the things that take place here that can benefit you, the residents. I'm here with Mr. Diaz, one of the hard-working uh, parts of the DPW and he's going to talk to us about some of the things that you see behind us and how you as a resident can bring items here to the Coy Street Garage and how it benefits you. So can you give us some details of what are some of these things behind you? Yes, good afternoon everyone. Uh, my name is Edwin Diaz, Superintendent of Streets and Sewers at 406 Coy Street. That way you know the address where the drop-offs is. As, if you, as you see behind me, we have the electronics, computers, uh, stereos, anything electronic, we, you, you can drop here. Uh, Monday to Friday from 7.30 to 3.30. Also, we have Saturdays available from 8 to 12. And on top of that, we have where we recycle bags of leaves. It had to be clean, grass, cut grass, leaves, we can recycle here. We also have a container, 30 yard for cardboard recyclables. And also your bottles and cans recycles. And also behind me, we have another container for newspaper, magazine, 
any kind of paper you want to get rid of, you can bring it here, shred it, or however you want to do it. We do take that. Um, we had tires where you can do, drop all uh, two to four tires per household. And again, we have a container to get rid of metal. We got metal, uh, a scrap, you know, any kind of scrap you need to get rid of, we take that, car batteries, stuff like that. Um, also, we have where if, if any questions, you have a guy in front, I have a guy in the front that can help you and guide you where everything goes. The council, the uh, administration, the directors, the police department, the fire department, uh, the library, the board of ed, the housing authority, we're all on one page and it shows in this yeah. town because there's no arguing, no big me, little you, and, and that, is, so that is that's, that's, that's so important that coming from being a, a former mayor and a, and, a, and a local councilman, you know, it, it takes a team effort to, you know, do what you need to do for the responsibility that you have. And when you have a, a mayor and a council and an administration and community people all working together, good things happen. And that's why you see the progress in just two short years. Everywhere I go in Irvington, folks are just talking so highly about the administration. And that's because of the team effort that we have here. And uh, I'm very just fortunate that the mayor asked me to jump on board here. Uh, I love uh, being in local government, and I love uh, meeting all the wonderful residents and business owners. So Irvington is a wonderful community, wonderful community, and I'm blessed to work here. Thank, thank you, you, and thank you very much, audience, for continuing to watch the Irvington Now Show. As always, I thank the Honorable Tony Voss, Mayor Tony Voss, for giving me this opportunity. It's a labor of love. I love doing it, bringing the kind of information to great people like Director Holly. I always drive my media people crazy, but if you could pan down to Director Socks, because he's a fashion plate here, and I had to make sure that you guys saw that not only is he a leader, but he dresses well. Look at those socks you there. You got his feet though, Harry. Yeah. You got his feet. We're we, we, we doing all right for ourselves. Well, we thank you, and we will see you with the rest of the segment. Thanks for watching the show.